Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for everything that you guys do. It's greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is let me get a drink of holy water. <laughs> so good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is, baby. Yeah, yeah. Terrell's noun session, most honorable judge, T, T, your presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you, I don't know. Could be any energy, for all you know. So always just keep an open mind. Don't always just assign the role, and, uh, because you, you'd be surprised. Don't always assign roles. So with that being said, we're going to get into this reading. Get my breath to decompress. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Okay. Show me the energy. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my Okay. All right. What was that? Okay. We got two cards I wanted to come out. Okay, lots of minor arcana energy here today on my table. All right. Four of pen, six of cups. We've got the three of wands. We've got the ten of wands. We've got the star. The overall energy for the reading is eight pentacles. So somebody here uh, is very much focused on something. All right, your person here. Um, they've been thinking a lot here about the past and how there was a void in the past. They've had some kind of realization here. The light bulb has went off, okay? So they've realized something, they've seen something here. Their destiny is showing up here on the table, but your person here could be maybe focused on work, maybe a little shut down here. But we're going to get into this reading, and we're going to talk to this Four of Pentacles. I just was so drawn to that for some odd reason today. So what's the Four of Pentacles here in this person's energy? What, we're going to talk to this thing here. What is this person? What's going on with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, please? Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so they have been a little bit quiet here because this person is possibly seeing a conflict here in the future. So this is why this person, if there's been little to no communication here, okay, it's because this person can foresee some kind of problem that might arise here in the future. So what is this problem that this person may see in the future here? What are they seeing this problem in the future? What's this person seeing here in the future? <coughs> Somebody's quick to go. Yeah, so it's like, mm, yeah, somebody's quick to go. So I'm getting this strong energy <coughs> here that this person, if they don't tell you what you want to hear, you might just be kind of like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to go then, okay? So this person foresees this, or this could already have happened, all right? So it's basically like, okay, if I don't tell Pisces what Pisces wants to hear, I feel like Pisces is going to probably be quick to leave my presence, all right? So this is why this person's been kind of shut down right now, because they're like, oh, okay, I already see it in the future. And this bothers this person, okay? For sure, it bothers them, all right? So... I feel like this person has a tendency to get 
upset when you shut down, okay? So this person, I feel, has a problem communicating, too, as well. I feel like they get tongue-tied a lot. Not for sure what to say. So rather than say something wrong, they don't say anything at all, all right? And even when they don't say anything at all, <coughs> that still creates a conflict for you. Because it leaves you feeling like there's a void, all right? And you're like, well, I don't really need to feel a void. I got enough problems in my life. Uh, okay, then. Uh, I'm going to leave, right? And this is what this person's thinking. And this is why they've been silent. So what have they been reflecting on about the past here? What have they been reflecting on about the past, please? What have they been reflecting on about the past? Sure. It seems like in the past here, there was a void here. Because this person, they left a void with you. And this person was like, okay, I realized that I was just all about my life and my comfortable living here. So in the past, they're thinking it was all about me. So they didn't even honestly think about you. It was all about me, 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 me. I'm comfortable where I'm at. Why would I want to go anywhere? Okay. And ultimately... This created a void in this connection. And so this person realizes that this has created a void in this connection. I gotta get some more holy water, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Just bear with me here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go a little bit deeper here on this uh, six cups and the ten pen. Six cups and the ten pen. Yep. And this person realizes it. This is just this person <coughs> coming to terms with the reality of the situation, with the reality of what they've done here. So this person is not a pendejo, okay, at the end of the day. They know. So they know better. I can appreciate that. And at least this person is coherent enough. Some of these other people that I, re these energies I pick up on, they're not even, it's like dormant. Like, they're not even coherent. They don't even understand. But this person has an understanding. Cut. Okay. So what have they realized here? What have they realized? What have they realized here? What have they realized here? What have they realized? What have they realized? They've realized that this is a cycle. You and this person are in a cycle. So what have they realized about this cycle that Pisces and this person is in? What have they realized about this cycle? Come on, Bale, if he's wanting to jump up. What have they realized about this cycle that you and this person are in? What have they realized about this cycle? What have they realized? They realize that they need, they need to call a truce. Okay. Come to an agreement here. All right. So what's this truce that this person wants to call? It's about making amends, really. Yeah. They want to show you that they can do better. They want to show you what they have to offer. Because this person does have a lot to offer. Okay. So we're going to see what this person's seen. What has this person finally seen? What have they seen? That they need to exert themselves more. Okay. So what do they need to exert themselves and do? What do they need to exert themselves and do? Yep. Take the mask off. 
and tell you they're in love with you. Take the mask off. Because they're in love. I just need to let my guard down. I need to show Pisces that I am capable of loving Pisces. I like this energy. This is good. This is very good. I really like this a lot. Okay. We're going to go ahead. We're going to talk to the star here. So what's the star here in this person's energy for? Okay. What's the star with the hangman? Oh boy, Pisces. This person here, they're not going anywhere. And this is what they know. They feel like you're a part of their destiny and this person realizes that they're, they're stuck here with you. That they love you. That they're not going anywhere. I like the energy. It's very good. All right, I'm going to clear it off with white sage. We'll get the final messages. And I'm going to pull one card for each side. One card for each side. Okay, what was that? Yeah, I feel like they're going to they're gonna apologize here. You're going to get some truth revealed to you. What else? Yeah, they're going to show you. They're going to open up and show you their little ball of emotions here, Pisces. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab the one card. Or, yeah, one card for each sign. And we always start with Pisces here, since you're always the last. Pisces, Pisces. How do you feel about Pisces? Okay. They're guarded against you, Cancer. Cancer. Sure. Okay, Cancer is thinking about you, but they're not coming towards you. Scorp. Scorpio's avoiding having a conversation. Aries. Aries. Okay, Aries feels like you're hiding something. Leo. Sure. Leo is obsessed with you, Sagittarius. Saggy. Sag. Sure, Sag. Sagittarius is in love with you, Libra. Libra is very confused about what's going on. Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. They're impatient right now with this whole situation. Aquarius. Aquarius thinks you're very attractive. Uh, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Virgo feels like you're hiding something. Uh, Taurus. Taurus, how do you feel about Pisces? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. My goodness. Taurus, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. Taurus. Seems like you and Taurus are in communication right now, or you will be. And happy, Cappy, how do you feel about Pi? Okay, Cappy. Cappy wants to scratch on your scratching post. So, guys, uh, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you like the reading, it's always greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned.